we love that image that kind of spoke to the last 10 years or so of our lives figuring out that trying to live the Christian life uh, alone or on one's own uh, is a recipe for crazy making um, <laughs> essentially that it's really impossible to do and that we need community uh, so we wrote a record uh, based on those words about community and this song is a song about how yeah, we shouldn't really yell at each other yeah yeah it's kind of about the tough parts of community because yeah. it's uh, you know it's really warm and fuzzy at the end of a movie when you know like the Incredibles when everybody like they, they enjoyed each other and their unique gifts and everyone was like yeah we did it but um, it doesn't always feel like that um, no because people are people are pretty awful yeah yeah most of the time um, we, they don't people, people don't disappoint they are awful um, sometimes yeah. um, not always but most of the time I mean, have you, have you met people before, seriously? <laughs> but, um... Actually, you know, it's funny, that as you were mentioning community and, and the shelter of each other that people will live. You know, I was just thinking about um, this place, the Root Cellar, that you guys, some of you have heard of it, right? So, yeah. Um, we were there this afternoon. They actually, they, they uh, drove us in, and, and uh, um, we got to just spend a little time walking around, and we had a meal there, and... Um, man, you know what they, they described was was how amazing this place, this part of, of Maine, really is. Um, this kind of Lewiston Auburn area is just there's a lot here. There's a lot of people with a lot of good soul, and uh, but they did describe that and it's been really difficult for them to find people to to volunteer and help out. You know that that they can always use an extra set of hands. Um, an extra heart that's that's willing to care for people that they might not know, and um, you know. So I, I thought I'd just mention that to you guys because because that whole idea of living in the shelter of each other um, kind of means that we have to kind of step into people's lives, and uh, there's a lot of great benefits to that. You know, I'm, I'm always reminded of that that amazing kind of story about Jesus and the blind man, and how you know his disciples. They saw this blind guy up, you know, down the road a ways, and, and they were like, oh man, they were feeling really important, and they didn't want to stop, and um, they knew Jesus was going to stop, because he always stops, and, um, and it's frustrating, because, you know, when you're feeling important, or you're feeling busy, or you feel like you've got enough on your plate, you don't want to stop, and, uh, but Jesus kind of, he figures it out, he's a smart guy, and he figures it out that and that his disciples they start asking him questions You're like man that guy he's blind because of his sin I'm paraphrasing um, <laughs> that guy he's he's blind because of his father's sin right and they start asking Jesus all these questions well Jesus kind of figures out they're, they're not asking him the questions because because they um, they really want to know the answer right they're asking him questions because they're trying to find a good reason not to stop and uh you know, Jesus, he figures that one out too. He does stop and, and he turns to the disciples and he says, you know, today, this man is blind not because of his sin or because of his father's sin. This man is blind so that today you will see God's hand of mercy reach down, heal this person, and you will be changed. See how he kind of turns that around on us and he kind of says... You know, when you reach into somebody else's life, when you get involved in places that might seem inconvenient or difficult, um, you get to know more of God, and that changes us. And so it truly is not the burden that most of us think it is. It's actually the privilege to get to know more of God through the people in our community. So um, I just say that briefly because, um, you know, look into this place, the root cellar. They just want people there to be available to get to know other people in the community that, uh, you know, that could use a friend, that could use uh, a helping hand. And, uh, you know, look around you. This is your community. These are your people. So, uh, you know, maybe think about that. And some of them are awful. <laughs> but they're still necessary. Talk to me. I've been talking to myself 
Help me get these thoughts out of my own head I don't believe See most days I don't believe This mercy is true It's hard to live with the things I do We dug in the ground We might move closer to love Pull out the roots We've dug in so deep Finish what you started Help us to believe Keep on